around the whole world In my hands, in my team By my side with the whole world In my plans, I'm a see What's up everybody, White Lighting HDVD here with another video and today we're going to be farming in Champions. Now a lot of people have been asking for the series and if it's going to come out and when it's going to come out and it's coming out right now. So as you can see, uh, I kind of went at the top of this base just for that Dark Elixir and there was a like, gold storage up there. So I put three loons down, uh, I put some minions down before to distract and then just the loons to take out that Archer Tower. And then uh, most of the loot was on this left side and the bottom side. So um, I kind of set up to take out the bottom side of the base, two rage spells down there. And uh, if you didn't see, I am rocking a different strategy. Well, not strategy, but composition. I have 26 loons and 40 minions and then 15 clan castle minions. That's just so that, you know, I don't have to worry about uh, people not having clan castle balloons to donate me. You know, it's just like minions are easy to get, so uh, it's just a little bit easier. And having 26 loons is pretty nice, to be honest with you, at your disposal. So uh, it works for me, and that's just kind of what I'm farming with up here. And I am farming in like the 3600s, and I think that's where I'm going to stay. So um, as you can see, those two gold storages are pretty much wide open. None of the defenses can reach the minions on the corners. So uh, just going to plop a couple minions down and let them get onto that storage and then uh, let them take that out. So that's some free gold right there. And as you can see, there is a ton of gold on the left side just in those collectors. I've been absolutely loving this this gem boost lately because there's just so much money. Ugh. Not sure why I made that noise, but I did. But uh, yeah, this one gem boost is really it's it's making farming just fucking wonderful right now, and uh, especially in champions, there's always a ton of loot. So I mean, I'm filling storage is like in a matter of hours. You know, it's it's pretty good. So uh, I'm gonna put down the rest of my loons there, and then the rest of my minions behind, and uh, just to grab all the gold. Because that is what we want right now. Because we're trying to farm up these level 9 walls and get this shit to Town Hall 10. Now, I know a lot of people really don't want me to go to Town Hall 10. And personally, I don't want to go to Town Hall 10. Just because I've had so much fun at Town Hall 9 and it's just such a fun Town Hall. But um, I need to move on with this game. And uh, I do need to get to Town Hall 10 and try to max it out as soon as possible. Uh, but So I'm going to put my Barbarian King on the right side here. And I put the Queen on the left side. And um, the king, using his special ability with all of his little barbarian bitches, are going to get up all of the gold over there and some of the elixir, so uh, that was that. And then I'm going to put the queen on the left side here, and she's going to take care of these two buildings and then the storage. Unfortunately, this bitch had a giant bomb right there, which kind of like destroyed every archer, but I got that. And then uh, raid ends, and I'm getting a whopping 664,000 gold, like holy shit. So, uh, well, along with 3,600 Dark Elixir, only three cups, but I'm farming, so I don't give a fuck. And uh, this next raid is going to have, uh, like, a 540,000 gold total, and um, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get this bitch. So I'm going to put in a couple of loons on the left and right side just to get rid of the Archer Towers. Now, that was basically just so that I could use some minions to pick off some stuff on the left and right side. Now, as you can see on the uh, bottom of this base here, I'm going to be going full-on attacking... Two rage spells, a bunch of loons with minions behind. Not all of my minions, though. I did save some. But uh, the loons are not going to get super far into the base, but decently far. And then I'm going to lightning spell those witches as they come out of the clan castle to reduce the amount of uh, little skeletons that they make. Because the skeletons are really annoying. They can really fuck up your raids. So I make sure to get those witches out of the way as soon as possible. And that usually means zapping them right as they come out of the clan castle. And that's just because I'm accurate as shit and I know how to do it. So, uh, that does take a little bit of practice, but, you know, it's very doable. It's nothing, like, super, like, wizardry. You just need to zap it as it comes out. you got to, like, anticipate where the witch is going to walk and then zap it, you know. It's not that hard. Uh, but I'm going to let the minions on these sides kind of just clear out the buildings. Uh, just basically, basically getting all the free buildings I can before kind of going for the full-on attack. So then uh, I'm going to use my Barbarian King on the right side here, so I have to clear out some of the buildings so that he goes straight towards the middle. So I get, well, okay, never mind. I, I put down that, and then I'm not sure why I put, oh, I, I put that down to check for any air bombs. So then I put in my clan castle minions, the rest of my minions, and then my king in a second here once they get rid of that uh, elixir, elixir thingy. And then king's going to go in in a second. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yes. There's the king. Okay. So king's going to go in. The two little mini guys are going to come in. I did put my queen on the top left. I forgot that I put her there when I was recording, but she's on the top left, and uh, she took out that gold storage. If you saw the gold storage on the top left, she took that out. Now, uh, the recording at the end here is just like totally trip out. Like, like I don't know what the fuck happened. Like, look, what is this? It's like my my screen is like on meth right now. So 
Uh, apparently, reflector, my reflector app took a little bit of shrooms before it decided to record, so my recording got fucked up, as you can see, uh, unfortunately. But I did end with about 540,000 gold total, so I apologize for not being able to see the end of that raid. But um, I did get about 540,000 gold. So, as you can see, this is a 100% maxed out base, and it has about 430,000 gold just right on the top of the base. So, I decided, you know, ah, what the hell, you know, I'm farming, I don't care if I lose, so I'm going to go for this. Now, originally, I was not going for the win on this base. I was, that was not my intent. Winning was not my intent. I just wanted to get the gold and get out, because 400,000 gold is a nice, good, it's a nice good amount of gold, which is what I was about to say, which sounds stupid as shit. It's a nice amount of gold. And if I do win, I get a plus 120,000. So those two raids that you saw, uh, that first raid, I technically got over 700,000. And the second raid, I got over 600,000. So the loot bonus in Champions is sick. And it's the reason why I'm going to stay here in Farm Tunnel 10, just because uh, the loot bonus is so great. And the loot is amazing. So uh, probably will be farming Tunnel 10 um, up in Champions. So there are two witches there. And I made sure that I would take them out pretty quickly before they spawned anything else. So uh, just, they kind of stopped there. So that's why I zapped them and I got them out of the way. Now, all the free buildings are out of the way, so there's nothing to distract my minions. Uh, gonna put in two rage spells there, and then all of my loons just kind of spread out on that corner. I probably should have spread the loons out a little bit more, but that's alright, it really doesn't matter. And then I put a bunch of minions in behind on both sides, and they're basically just going to swarm that middle part of the base and take out those storages. And then there is a storage on the left side where I do put my clan castle. And I forgot that I had a P.E.K.K.A. So I had a P.E.K.K.A. in the clan castle, so I put him down, and I'm like, well, I've got a P.E.K.K.A., so I might as well just throw down the king and queen on that side uh, just to kind of help through help get through that wall and get to that gold. So again, I was not uh, planning on winning this raid. It wasn't really my intent, but um, it just went well for me. So the P.E.K.K.A. and the King are going to be going in on the bottom side right there, and they're going to get through a lot of stuff. They get through the gold, and then they're going to take out this air defense, and then that's going to be it. Now watch the Queen here. This was pretty clutch on the Queen's part. So, uh, well, I guess it wasn't clutch. It was just a lot more lucky, but for some reason, she decided to take down this level 11 wall rather than just walk over to the fucking gold mine and shoot it. Again, Queen's AI is just shit. It, it, they need to fix it. I mean, how many updates and, and shit have they done with this game and they have not fixed the AI of the Queen or King? It's like, come on, get, get on that. But um, whatever, it's fucking Supercell. What can we expect? So getting the clutch 50%, why I say clutch is because that was the last building that she would have destroyed before she died. Getting me a total of 403,000 gold, 13 cups. That was like a whale of a raid. Uh, so that was about 100 or 520,000 gold. So, uh, as you can see, I am pretty maxed out on gold right now. Uh, Dark Elixir, 109,000. Elixir, 63, or 6.3 million. So, uh, do have a good amount of gold and do have a good amount of Elixir. So, I'm finding a, a decent amount of loot. Well, not a decent. I'm finding a fuck ton of loot up in Champions right now, just using Balloons and Minions. Uh, not a ton of Elixir, but uh, definitely enough to help, you know, get storages not filled, but, you know, up there. I do definitely fill gold a lot faster, mainly because I'm going for it, but also because there's a lot more gold than Elixir and Champions, but, uh, you know, it's whatever, so I, I'm still farming up and farming up quickly. I should be done with my walls uh, in a couple of days, so I'm pretty excited about that, and um, when I do upgrade my Town Hall 9, I'm going to make a big, like, Town Hall 9 best moments video, uh, so... That's going to be a lot of editing to do because I've got to go through like 100 videos of mine and pick out the best moments. So it's going to take me forever to make that fucking video. But I'm going to make it and it should be a pretty awesome video. And uh, I, that video will will be out like the not the day my town hall upgrades, but somewhere around there. Like when I upgrade my town hall, that's when I'm going to start working on it. Uh, so I'll have a solid two weeks to complete that video. And hopefully I will be able to complete it by the time my town hall upgrades because... Uh, I will be upgrading that video when my town hall does. But yeah, guys, the loot in Champions is is it's pretty sick, as you can see. Oh, shout out to uh, Camaro Bro, or uh, Clash with Cam, if you guys don't know, which you probably do, because he's got like 100k, but uh, he's pretty swaggy. So yeah, loot in Champions is awesome. If you guys are skilled enough with loons and have enough time out of your day to farm up in Champions, it's definitely worth it. Uh, it does take a little bit of boosting. Like, I will usually boost... I always boost my spell factory, and I will usually boost heroes if they go down, and uh, I will sometimes boost barracks just to basically maximize my uh, my loot gained, because although there is a ton of loot, a uh, Lunian army does take a little while to train up, but it's very effective, so uh, if you guys are looking for some good loot, Champions is definitely the place to do it, and uh, yeah, so let's look, 27 walls left, that's all that I have left is just 27, so wait, let's, let's lay it out here. That's it. 
That's it. That's that's the road to Town Hall 10 right there. The road to Town Hall 10. It's really short, but it's going to take four fucking ever just because I don't have a lot of time in the week to play. But, again, I should be done within the next week. I should be going to Town Hall 10 within a week. And uh, Pirates Plunder, I've actually been really loving that game, like, a lot. Like, I will probably be uploading some more Let's Plays very soon here just because I like that game so much. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. That, that, that video had a lot of dislikes, but no hate comments. Or, you know, no con destructive comments. So I'm cool with that. So as long as you guys are enjoying, then I'm happy. But yeah, Pirates Plunder is a pretty sick game, I gotta say. I do like it a lot. But uh, Clash is still life. So uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at WhitelightingHWD. That is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I love you. Peace! I started recording. I don't know why. It's like a meth, a meth head like tripping into my video what am i even saying fuck my asshole for some reason the recording like tripped out at the end of the next rip. fuck it's not it's the next fuck oh shit